This is code.org. Let's create a painter object. All right, what do we got? Instantiate a painter object using with user input. All right, we can do this. And I've said this a million times. I'm going to do it again. Guys, use your resources. I think Bubble 2. Bubble 2 is a pretty decent example of this, of user input and such. All right. Now, let's say what they're doing with their example. Enter X location. Okay. And so I'm going to do it from scratch. Let's be let's be responsible people here and make sure to enter our uh, to declare our variables first. So that being said, I will go ahead and do scanner object called input. Yep, scanner input is equal to new scanner, and then we need to do system dot in for the argument because we're going to have the values go to uh, system input, we could assign it to a file that could be all sorts of things. And again, guys, you're forgetting this. Take a look at this bubble two here. Super helpful, right? It's, it's the resources and referencing them is part of being a good programmer. Scanner input equals new scanner. What's else? Oh, instantiate with user input. I'm going to stick to our convention of calling these my, I guess. So I'll do painter, my painter, and I'm going to assign it null for now. All right, now I'm going to ask for input and I'm going to follow exactly what they have here. So they say enter X location with a colon and system dot out dot print. I'm not doing LN. Why? Because that would force input onto the next line. However, if we just do print, I can say enter. Enter the X location. Boom, boom, right? And now, hmm, I don't know, maybe we should call it X location. That could be a good idea. So, int, it's going to be an energy integer for input. Int X location will be equal to, well, what's the name of our input object? Where is this data going when they when the user gives it to the computer? Well, the scanner, the scanner is going to get assigned. Uh, the, the scanner object input will get the information so input dot next and we know it's an integer we want to make sure that it only is so boom next int and what this is going to do now is we have a new variable called x location once the user enters some information input grabs that information they enter and slaps it into this variable y location we know is going to be very similar so i'm going to highlight copy and boop. Oh, maybe paste and let's switch this guy out to y and i want my variable to be y cool now start oh i've moved this all down one let me do some house cleaning housekeeping Oop. doesn't really matter these are just comments but you know i'm a teacher i like instructing cool there we are all right starting y cool 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 and now let's get the direction okay same deal here And same idea with this, except direction, since it's a word, is going to be a string. So string, direction, and then how are we going to assign it? Well, we have our scanner, uh, which it, our scanner object, which is input. And so input will have access to this, and we can do input. Hey, I'm not sure about this. What about, mm, 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 mm. oh, they just use next. Let's give that a shot. We could also try next line, but we're going to do next. All right, that's great. We now have direction, hopefully. And now we need amount of paint. And now what are we going to assign it to? Mm, int, and I don't know, we could just call this paint. We could call it paint amount. What did they like over here? They like paint. Paint it is. And we know it will be an integer, right? Because it's how many items of paint they have how much paint they have is what it's going to be assigned all right now we need to create the painter object all right so we we initially defined the variable right we defined we declared it up here we have my painter now we need to actually assign it to something so let me drop this so i can see what i'm doing here and we call it my painter so my painter let's call the constructor new painter and now we need to pass in all these values that we just grabbed. So let's see, x location. Bam. And now we get to 
allow the user to assign the location of the painter. Finally, close scanner. We don't have a scanner object. We do have a scanner object, but it's not named scanner. Our scanner is named input. And now, let's give it a shot. Oh, I'm going to expand that. Mm, X location, E5. 3. Face, south. Paint, 88. Sweet. Cool. Let's make sure. 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 3. Remember, we started 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. Or 3 steps down. 1, 2, 3. Cool. We're fancy. Onward. 